Greetings, friends, and uh, welcome again to Hermit's Rest. Uh, years ago, uh, during my prolonged period of absolute solitude, I was pondering my life events, uh, contracting uh, an acute case of polio, uh, being in an orphanage, uh, many foster homes, uh, spending eight years uh, in a uh, rather grueling workhouse. And um, it occurred to me that, uh, hey, you know, destiny and fate uh, fly in on the wings of mystery without the courtesy of an advance notice. And uh, lives are simply scattered across the plains of existence like uh, seeds in the wind. Uh, some land on fertile ground and blossom. Others land on fertile ground and uh, wither up and die. Uh, some land, uh, you know, in barren ground and wither up and die. And yet some land in barren ground and uh, manage to blossom. And how many times have we come across a... a a small single flower growing out of a concrete, a crack in the concrete sidewalk. It's it's a wonderment. Uh, you know, it's uh, these events uh, are mostly happenstance, and um, you know they. Uh, they're really, it, it occurred to me, are guides. Uh, guides that can uh, you know, lead us into more struggling and frustration, or uh, guides that can uh, carry us out to uh, the calm seas of effortless contentment. There's no law, I determine, cosmic or written, that demands that we respond to a seemingly negative event in a negative way. <laughs> and once we can figure that out, or once we can realize that and start putting that into practice, Ah, you can actually harness present realities. Yeah, think about that. Harness present realities. Very nice. It's very nice. We'll see you later.